So lucky like everybody. I'm just having technical difficulties from hell all the time. It seems like, boy, you hear me? All the time. You know, I, I need to go trade this telephone in. I need to trade this telephone in so this way I can, uh, you know, use my insurance, get another phone. That's what I, I, I pretty much need to do. <laughs> okay. Now, getting back to today's lesson. Yahweh only loves Israel, so why do the other people exist, right? So, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Verse 21, right? Such things did they imagine and were deceived, for their own wickedness hath blinded them. Now, the wickedness of the Esau Edomites, uh, you know, of the white man, it blinds them to the truth because they believe that they're on top, right? They're going to believe that they're going to be on top forever, right? Well, what they don't understand is that the Most High God has, going to, has raised up a certain amount of individuals, okay, that know the truth with wisdom and understanding that are going to receive spiritual power from the Most High God in heaven, which will put them on, on par with uh, the likes of uh, Black Adam. Uh, we'll put them on par with the likes of Samson. We'll put them on likes with the par on par of with King David and his mighty men. Right? Okay, this is what these Edomite devils, they don't understand. Like it tells you in uh, Zechariah. Chapter 12. Verse 8, in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And how is the Most High God going to defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, you think? Well, and he that is feeble among them, of uh, the Israelites, right? Among them at that day shall be as David. Now, if you go back and read the book of Psalms, King David killed ten thousands of thousands of men and Saul killed his thousands remember King David was the type of individual he gonna get out there and kill your ass himself hand-to-hand -hand combat fuck you you're finished right okay King David was in a, in a skirmish and a bow of steel broke across his arm he leaped over a, a, a 20 to 30 foot wall straight up off the goddamn ground talk about hops right talk about basketball hops Beat that! Can you jump 20, 50 feet off the goddamn ground? No. Jump up on top of the deal, climb over and kill everybody in there? No. Okay, but the Most High God is going to give those that are feeble among our people, the old, right? And make us like King David was in the, in the prime of his youth. The Most High God was with David everywhere he went. And he had all kinds of spiritual power. They couldn't kill him if they tried. If they tried to poison him, it didn't work. Okay? All he did is burp and fart. That was probably be about the worst they could do with the most uh, the, the most uh, detrimental poison that would kill your ass as soon as you look at it, damn dear. Okay? Come on now. King David has subjected all of these nations of people up under, under under himself, man, in slavery and captivity for 40 years. You think they didn't try everything they could to snake their way into the into the palace to kill him? Come on, man, they couldn't do shit with King David. Okay. And the and the house of David shall be as the most high God, Yahweh. Right? As the angel of the Lord before them. The angel of the Lord before the house of the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, whom the person in the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Negro from the tribe of Judah. Okay, this is what they're not teaching you at church. They ain't never gonna tell you the truth. Damn that. They're out to tell you a goddamn lie so you can be destroyed along with these Edomite devils and the wicked two thirds of our people and these wicked false pastors and preachers. They're all, they're all they're out for is a dollar, right? 
verse uh, Zechariah chapter 12, verse 9. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Okay? So the Most High God's going to put spiritual power and 144,000 of his mighty men and the weak and the feeble amongst the great multitude and we're going to destroy these devils man they're finished okay that's where it says in, in Daniel chapter 7 verse 18 right But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, right? And possess the kingdom forever and ever, even forever and ever. Right? What kingdom? Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. Right? This matter is by the decree of the watchers and, by, and the demand by the word of the holy ones. Who are the holy ones? The prophets who are out on the on the highways and byways and on street corners like myself, for example, risking their life and their freedom to spread the truth of the gospel. The true gospel. Not that bullshit watered down crap that they teach you at church. Okay? This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over the basis of men. Who are the basis of men? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. The devil the Bible speaks of. The wicked the Bible speaks of. That's who it is, okay? And then when you try to explain that to them, they don't get it. They want to kill you. You tell them the truth in the Bible, they don't want to hear it. None of them can look. They're not to do, they finished, right? Now, my point being was the kingdom of men. Who rules the kingdom of earth? Mankind, right? The BRICS nations, NATO, the North Atlantic Trade Organization, the United Nations, the European Union, AKA the European Economic Community filled with Edomites, the so-called white man, the wicked of the Bible, the wicked of the whole earth, right? So, yeah, we're going to take the kingdom. How are we going to take the kingdom? Let's go to Ezekiel. Because I was trying to teach a young man, but he, he was trying to rush me. It's like, okay. Right? Ezekiel 25, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. You see how precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, and there a little works? That's how you read the Bible. The saints of the Most High God in heaven, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, shall take the kingdom, the kingdom of men. From who? Edom. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Okay? The remnant sealed from the foundation of the earth in these last days to receive the name of the Most High God in the true Hebrew language. This is what they're not trying to tell you. They don't tell you these things at church. That's the reason why the Bible itself tells you in 2 Timothy 5 and 10, show thyself approved unto the Most High God, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the words of truth. Right? Where are the words of truth found? in the Holy Bible, okay? But they're not trying to tell you that at church. They just want your fucking money. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they, being the Edomites and the nations, the kingdom of men, shall know my vengeance saith the Lord Yahweh, right? So since that's the facts, now you know why the saints of God, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the saints of the Most High, shall take the kingdom. Okay? Let's go over here to, uh, Jeremiah 
51. Right? Verse 19. The portion of Jacob, right? Jacob wrestled an angel, right? And prevailed. And the angel blessed him, right? And his seed forever, right? That they would have the kingdom. That Jacob, his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. Israel in the English vernacular means he who wrestles with God. In the Hebrew, it's Yasharara, which means prince of the power or prince of God. Okay? Now, that means God is a king, the king of terrors. And the prince of God, like the prince of peace, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Okay? The prince of peace, we get the same inheritance that he gets. The Most High God gives the entire universe and all galaxies within it into the power and the hand of his son. His son promised that those that of us that endure to the end not only shall be saved, but shall in inherit the same inheritance that he gives. Because he's going to share his inheritance with us. I can't beat that with a stick. Hell yeah, I'll go haphazard my life. Yeah, I'll go put my life on the line. Why not? He says in, in, uh, in the book of Daniel, chapter 12 and 3, that the righteous shall be raised to everlasting life and the others shall be raised to shame and everlasting contempt. Right? So I'm trying to get everlasting life. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. Right? For if this earthly house of this tabernacle were to be dissolved, roughly paraphrased, there's a tabernacle made without hands, eternal in the heavens. So that means in Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, let's get that. Yep, let's just get it. Because I was going to go, but yep, let's get it. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, right? Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the most high God who gave it. Okay. What is that? Uh... Let's go get it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that was it. I went, I went too far, didn't I? It's all good. Right? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. So Ecclesiastes 12 and 7 says, that the spirit returns into the most high God who gave it. So you see where that Greek mythological bullshit comes in where everybody, when you die, you go to hell? How does that work? If the spirit is energy and the fire is, is fire and brimstone, which one burns hottest? If you're a spirit burning in a lake of fire, you won't feel a fucking thing because you're made of energy. Which burns hotter, energy or fire? Okay, you see what I mean? Hell means to have your enemies rule over you. That's what hell is all about. Okay, where you have to go and one of all things, like it tells you in Deuteronomy 28 and 48. We have to come to these devils in one of all things. As Israelites, we shouldn't have to do that. Okay, they should come to us. But the hell spoken of in the, in the biblical scripture is having to come to these devils and want of all things. 
We have to answer to them. We have to stress ourselves out and rob people and rob shit and steal in order to pay our bills that they use inflation and oppression and affliction to push the issue that they are in control, making it worse for the Israelites that are struggling so hard to do the right thing. You cannot do the right thing in a kingdom that was twisted, ran by men upside down. Where the same sex law has been passed, transgenderism, same sex marriage, men dressed as women, women dressed as men, right? Deuteronomy 22 and 5 tells you against that. Let's read it. This is the reason why Yaval Noah Hawari, that uh, World Economic Forum crony, who's one of the uh, LBG alphabet community people, him and his husband, how does that sound? That don't even sound right. Him and his husband. Ain't that a bitch? Right? This faggot is going around trying to tell everybody in the fucking world that he wants to rewrite the Bible and use artificial intelligence. And then supplant in the Bible, take the Israelites out of it, take the Edomites out of it, and re replace them with the alphabet community people. And make Sodom and Gomorrah filled with Israelites. Saying that they were destroyed from off the earth. Which gives them reason to come and kill us. You can't tell me that ain't backwards. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that. garment for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Yahweh Boaz and Yahweh Shai. He who created the heavens, the earth, the sea, all that is there in the foundations of water, right? 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 Wow, Job, chapter 24. Verse 12, men groan from out of the city, Jerusalem, right? And the soul of the wounded cried out. We've been wounded in the soul because of Jeremiah 17, verse four, where we would discontinue from our heritage as Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the services of the Most High God and the promises. Right? So, we've been wounded in the spirit by these goddamn animals. Right? Yet, Yahweh layeth not folly to them. The Most High God doesn't lay folly to these devils because they are perfect in wickedness. The Israelites are imperfect in righteousness because they follow after the way of the heathen and they go not after the Most High God nor do they seek his ways. That's the reason why we're at the bottom, why these bastards constantly wound us in the spirit, calling us niggers, beaters, bitch, hanging us from a fucking tree just to prove they can hang some fucking body. This is the point that I'm trying to make. And the people get mad at me for telling them the truth. Yeah, I get kind of uh, up. My high blood pressure gets up there a little bit. But I mean, when you stop and look at the history of what happened to our people, 
and these devils have no mercy even until this day, why wouldn't you get upset? But they don't want you to get upset about that. They want you to get upset about the alphabet community being attacked by righteous men preaching out of the Bible. What the hell? Really? Okay. Verse 13, Job chapter 24, verse 13. They are of those that rebel against the light. They know not the ways thereof, nor abide in the paths thereof. Right? He saw in them the wicked of the whole earth, the devil the Bible speaks of, does not abide in the light. They like death. They have the, they bring the conditions of hell and of death and cannot be satisfied. Okay, that's what these animals do. Drinking blood, oral circumcision. Come on, man, really? Okay, and then when you try to tell these people that, they don't want to believe it. We're preaching hate now. They've been doing that shit for years, huh? You just found out about it because we told you about it. Now you pissed off about it? This is the reason why two thirds of our people have to be exterminated from the face of the earth. Because they refuse to do what is right, to follow the paths of light and of righteousness and doing the right thing with wisdom and understanding. Right? They refuse. They like smoking weed. They like getting hot, getting drunk, eating pork, fried pork chops. They love the punk shit. You know? So my job is to do what I can to help those willing to listen to righteousness, willing to do the right thing, to try. Y'all can't get these people to even do that. Verse 14, Job 24, verse 14. The murderer, rising with the light, killeth the poor and needy, and in the night is as a thief. Right? Now that can uh, be blamed two ways. Esau eat them for putting the guns in our neighborhoods, right? And the drugs and the alcohol uh, liquor store across the street from the church and the cigarette shop down the street, right? And then you have the gangbangers that buy the guns from these Edomites, that buy the drugs from these Edomites, right? And the, those of us, of our people, that buy the drugs from the Edomites, they sell it to their own people. See? So, Esau, Edom, and two thirds of our people have to be exterminated, man. It's just that simple. Right? Verse 15. The eye also of the adulterer waited for the twilight, saying, No eye shall see me in disguise of this face. That's the reason why a lot of our people wait till the sun go down to come out and do wickedness and do evil. Right? They wait till the night get, till it gets cool and even. And then they stay up all goddamn night doing all kinds of wickedness. Right? That's what happens. Okay, hold on, yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 21. Let's go back. <laughs> I was going to keep on going, boy. Precepts just started popping in my head, flipping through. Right? And then... And Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 6, says that the Most High hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them unto, against the mighty day of their punishment. Right? 
So two thirds of our people are gonna be cut off and die. They're gonna be kept to the mighty day of their punishment, right? So they'll probably be kept alive until that day, more than likely. Those of them that have been, are killing each other in the streets, eye for an eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Do unto others, you want to have others do unto you, right? If you kill somebody, that same way you're going to be killed. That's how that works. All right. Hold on. Uh, just passed. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 21. Such things did they imagine and were deceived, for their own wickedness hath blinded them. Right? What are the things that these Edomite devils imagine every day? Right? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 verse 12. Therefore let us lie in wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn. And he is clean contrary to our doing. He upbraided us for our offending the law and objected to our infamy the transgressions of our education. Okay? Now, the education that these devils have, I just ran down a laundry list of it. They bring the conditions of hell and of death, and they cannot be satisfied. Right? Verse 16. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 16. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. They call themselves Christians. They call themselves white people. They ain't done no wrong, right? They'll steal your pants off you while you sleep upon your bed. They'll break into your house while you are lying on the bed, right? They made movies about that shit. Man be asleep, who comes crawling in through the fucking window? A white man with a mask on. Stealing your shit, breaking into your safe. Right? Come on, man. Don't nobody fit this stuff with them. Right? We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. They got nerve enough to call themselves Christians. But you'll hang a black man from a fucking tree. In 2018, they found four young black men under the age of 25. Two of them, one of them was hung from a flagpole 10 miles from the uh, high school. At the same high school, uh, they was hung from uh, the, uh, the uprights. Okay, and you found two young black men that were hung in California. One of them was a college student, and he had just got drafted by the NFL or in the college. And they, in 2018, they found him hanging from a goddamn tree, a flagpole, a light post and a goddamn a football uprights in 2018. But they're righteous? Explain that, okay? He abstained from our ways as from filthiness, right? Eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, going out to the club, committing adultery, banging your brother's wife, banging your sister's husband, right? Buying drugs, smoking cigarettes, right? Planning on robbing somebody. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounceth the end of the just to be blessed and maketh this both that God is his father. Right? So these devils have a perpetual hatred for us, right? Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Right? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, 
and the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. We're at the end of our calamity. We're at the end of our captivity. But these devils still hold a social security card and birth certificate over our heads as papership of ownership, right? The paperwork of ownership under maritime law, right? We're still uh, captive under these devils. We'll never be free. That wasn't the intention when they set up the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. That was for the Bill of Rights for Edomites and other nations, not for those that have been enslaved. At the time that these papers were written, the Constitution and uh, the Bill of Rights, Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans were captives. We were enslaved. We were property. So it didn't apply to us. Okay. Okay. Now check this out. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, right? Let's go back to Genesis. Chapter 27, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing word which his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. And that's the reason why they have a perpetual hatred for us, and they've been killing us ever since. Right? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 17. Let us see if his words be true, and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of God, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the covenants and the giving of the law and the services of the Most High God and the promises, right? The Most High God promises to deliver us from the hand of our enemies. Wherever we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, where we live heathen Gentile lives. But our fathers, before we were scattered as slaves and captives into those countries all over the earth, were the Israelites of the 12 tribes. Right? Verse 19, let us examine him with despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Okay? So these devils are gonna put us to the test. Where it says in, in Revelation, Chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Right? Suffering in the Bible is patience. Well, we keep the word of his patience while we suffer. Right? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. For behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Satan doesn't have a prison. But the living embodiment of Satan on earth, the children of wickedness, a.k.a. the Edomites, the so-called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of, does have prisons. Right? Who owns the prisons then? Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Detention facilities. FEMA camps. Indoctrination zones. Right? That ye may be tried. Right? Let us torture him with despitefulness and torture, that we may prove his meekness and prove his patience. Right? 
right? Suffer patiently. When we're going to suffer, being put in prison, right? That's how we're going to be tried. And you shall have tribulation 10 days, which is a certain amount of time that you might be in there for a certain amount of time that you're going to be tortured until they torture you unto the death. Endure to the end that you might be saved. That's the only way out of here. Okay, if, if, if you're taking it to a FEMA camp, you can have a more best believe they're going to try you with despitefulness and torture to prove your patience and your meekness to see if you were one of the children of God back in the old days where they would walk into a coliseum and we willingly ripped apart by lions to prove that their faith is stronger than what they can do to their body. That's going to take a lot of power, a lot of faith, and a lot of belief in the name of Yahweh and in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. What is faith? The substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, right? Okay? Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 Oh, uh, Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach chapter 2 verse 1 My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Prepare thy soul for temptation. Remember the hour of temptation? The hour of temptation is going to come upon all, everyone upon the face of the earth to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay? It's going to come upon everyone. Even us. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble, right? In other words, don't be hasty to take that radio frequency identification micro silicon sub dermal uh, implant that they want to put underneath your skin to buy and sell, okay? Be not hasty in the time of trouble in order to get out of that FEMA camp, okay? Cleave unto him, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. How are you going to be increased? Daniel 12 and 3. Some shall be raised to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. It's best that you be on the side of everlasting life, where you will be put in a new body, where it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1, for if this tabernacle of this house were to be dissolved, there is a tabernacle made without hands, eternal in the heavens. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. In other words, when you deny being a part of the cashless society under Fed Now and the Central Bank Digital Currency Program, where you have to have a digital token or a digital ID the size of a grain of rice underneath your skin, and you deny that, the Most High God says, Whatsoever is upon thee and brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. In other words, you're going to lose everything. You're going to lose your house. You're going to lose your car. You're going to lose your job. Your woman going to leave you. Your husband going to leave you. They're going to take your kids from you. 
The Most High God says, be patient with our change to a Lord's day. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Right? Where you will be tried. Where the devil shall put cast some of you into prison. Right? As gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Right? Believe in him. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. The creator of the heavens, the earth, the sea, all that is there in the foundations of water. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. In other words, repent. Go back and practice the righteous acts of the prophets where they fasted. Right? They practice fasting and studying to show themselves approved unto the Most High God on the Sabbath day. For example, today is the Sabbath. Right? Based on the new moon. and faith in the Most High God, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And he's going to bring you through the fire of adversity. You'll come out on the other side shining like pure gold. Right? That was the spirit of Esau, Edom, the children of wickedness, and the devil on earth, Satan. Okay? Revving their engines up, trying to drown out the truth. Okay? They think that shit is cute. They're gonna have to answer for that in the day of judgment. For all must appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach to give account for the things that they have done in their bodies, whether they be good or bad. Roughly paraphrased. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse 10. So it doesn't matter, okay? Let them do what they're gonna do. They have to give account thereof in the day of judgment. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for his everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever trust any trust in the Lord and was confounded? No, nobody was confounded. Whoever trusted in the Most High God was saved. Their enemies were destroyed before their face when they turned around and gave praise to the Most High God of heaven. The Bible is filled with instances like that. Now that you are in the last days and you're in the latter moments of the kingdom of Babylon the Great, America, the land of Barathium, the land of bitterness, the land of indigenous Holocaust, and home of the slaves, it's time for you to repent, to come out of the way of Babylon the Great and doing the things that are wicked and practice the righteous acts Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 verse 10 Look at the generations of old and see Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? No Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? No Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? No one He came to help you The Bible is filled with it those that he came to save were Israelites every time. Esau Edom is trying to rewrite the Bible using artificial intelligence and, and cross us completely out and crucify all Israelites by doing that. Right? So this way the generations that come underneath us, they don't know any better. 
but alphabet community, homosexuality, same-sex marriage. They don't know anything else but that. See? And then they've been taught by a Bible that's been taught everything was upside down. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. Right? The book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 18. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to, to, to flourish, which both are the gifts of the Most High God, and it enlarges their rejoicing that love Him. Okay? So the Most High God does not forsake any that call upon His true Hebrew name. Remember, the white man changed his name. He changed the face of the Son of God and put their face in place. Remember, these Edomite devils have a God complex. Okay, they think that they are God. And with that, uh, that social construct of white that they put upon themselves, clearly, they think that they're righteous. No matter what they do, they shoot a black man down in the street in the back five times, they're righteous. They don't get lauded as a hero. And our women, oh, that's okay, we forgive you. Ain't that a bitch? I bet you we go in their neighborhood and shoot them in the back, shoot their kids in the back, will they forgive us? No, they're gonna seek us, they're gonna grab a whole bunch of white folks, grab a rope, go into the black neighborhood, and the first black man they see, they're gonna string his ass up from a tree. Okay, that's how they're gonna forgive you. Then they're gonna take your dead body down, dismember the goddamn thing, and cook it, and feed it to a dog. That is the history of these goddamn animals and their forgiveness. Okay, what is it? Uh, Proverbs. I forget the name. Uh, uh, the the, uh, the biblical scripture says in Proverbs. Okay, the righteous man careth for the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Who are the wicked? Job chapter 9 verse 24 states that the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, which he covered up the face of the judge, where the Most High God gave him all judgment, power, rule, and authority. The person you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, they covered up his face and put up their image. That's the reason why they say everybody can be saved now, instead of just Israelites. Okay, because they're trying to put themselves in the narrative that Israelites can be saved. Now they're saying Gentiles can be saved, everybody. You could be having sex with a goddamn animal, and the next day you could be saved. Okay, the book of Deuteronomy states that that's specifically a violation of the law. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 20, 21. If a woman lie down with a beast, thou shalt kill the beast and stone the woman to death. See, we can't keep the law perfectly. It's impossible to keep the law, statutes, and commandments perfectly. But that's where you, uh, faith comes in to practice the righteous acts, practice the precepts. Practice what laws that you can keep. Okay? Yeah, weather, what's going on? Uh, say what? Okay. Yeah, I, I'm trying to teach our people to repent and let them know through all of this truth. That, they're the Edom, that Esau Edom is so-called wicked. He's the Edomite. Esau and Jacob. Okay? Esau and Jacob. Okay? Come on, man. Where's another picture of Esau and Jacob? Yeah, on the other side. Huh? 
Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 19. Wisdom reigneth down skill and know and the knowledge of an understanding, and exalted them to honor that hold her fast. Verse 20. The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord, and the branches thereof are long life. Right? The Bible tells you how to read it. The Bible tells you how to have faith. Why you should have faith. What faith is. Okay, and how to practice it. But two thirds of our people are gonna be cut off and destroyed because they won't believe it. Okay? Right? The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord and the branches thereof are long life. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Right? The one brother that came over here I was trying to teach earlier you know, he come up here all uh, contentious, right? But when I broke down the Bible and, and, and answered his questions, he was shook and promised he was going to come back next week and learn something else. I gave him uh, on YouTube several different other channels that he could go to and get the same, uh, the same uh, teachings. Right? A furious man cannot be justified, for the sway of his fury shall be his destruction. A patient man will bear for a time, and after a joy shall spring up unto him. Right? So, we're at the bottom. We're in captivity right until this day. We have paper of ownership called a birth certificate and a social security card. Okay? Under maritime law, every person born under maritime law in America that has a birth certificate and a social security card is cargo. Under maritime law, they own you. If you go back and look at the serial number on the back of your social security card, or the social security, or the uh, serial number on the back of your birth certificate, it takes you to a central bank. The central bank of, uh, uh, of England, or Pennsylvania, or New York, or Texas, or Kansas, or Chicago, or Illinois, whatever. Okay, it's gonna take you to a Federal Reserve Bank. That Federal Reserve Bank owns your birth certificate and your social security number. Thereby, those individuals that own the banks own you. Whether you wanna believe it or not, I don't care. You still are under uh, maritime law every time you go into a courtroom. That's what the, yellow, uh, the American flag with the yellow fringes stands for. Okay? Our people don't know these things. My job is to tell you to your face. Okay? Yes, unfortunately. Yeah, I know, right? How long have you been in the truth? Uh, I've been in the truth for since uh, 2018 when I went on the search. This is my camp. Hello, man. What's, your, what's the name of your camp? Okay. Okay. Uh, Mataza Lacombe, 144 GA. That's my camp. Okay. Okay. I'm not with Great Millstone, but I subscribe to what they to what they teach. Because what they teach is the truth. Now, IURC they got one of their members shot to death the other day. Yeah. Because they come up that bullhorn, Brian out at some gangbanger. Gangbanger came, left, came back and shot the boy. Yeah, but the guys that wear the purple shirts yeah, with yeah. the with the gold fringes, yeah. Okay. The thing, the thing camp, the camp. Yeah, got shot. Okay, ain't nobody else camp getting shot. I'm not yelling at people. I'm just trying to tell the people the truth. Okay, I'm breaking the Bible down so this way they can understand it in layman's terms and consider. So you subscribe to Sakari? Huh? You subscribe to Sakari? No, I don't. Sakari learned from GMS and then turned his back on him. I lost all respect for him after that. Huh? ISUPK? Okay. I don't subscribe to them either. Okay. I don't see how they're right if they're telling you 
that the mark of the beast is a white woman, the mark of the beast is sin, I don't see how they're right. Let me show you what the mark of the beast is then. Right here. This is the mark of the beast right here. You got two pictures side by side, man. Okay. The Ferret Chip Corporation, Mark of the Beast 666, and you agree, right? Where it says in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, a M A R K, in their right hand or in their forehead. They did a, a, a technological study, and the best places for the con 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 uh, conductivity of electricity and uh, uh, electromagnetic radio waves is in your right hand or your forehead. Okay, explain that to you. See, they ain't telling you that over I, I, They're not telling you this in ITPK. They want this in, in your hand, not on it. They want this in your brain, not on it. Okay, RFID chip, mark of the B666 technology is here. It's a digital barcode strip located in the cloud, in the cloud that has all of your personal identification, all of your information. Your, 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 uh, your personal identification, uh, it's got your medical records, it's got your, your uh, uh, where you work, how much money you make per hour, all of that shit will be put on that chip. No? Uh, black only, uh, black only Israelites, that's not true, because the Israelites were scattered into all nations, come here. Let me, let me move my camera so you can understand. Gotta teach a little bit more, y'all. Right quick, no big deal. That's one thing I said uh, most of the people is uh, okay. Uh, people right. Uh, I want to make sure that I, I know okay. what the truth is. Okay. okay, look. Through these captivities, the Egyptian captivities, we came out of Egypt, right? Okay. Then we went into the Assyrian captivity. Babylonian captivity after the death of King David. And then King Solomon came. And then, so that was 80 years of peace. 80 years of war, uh, 40 years of war, 40 years of peace. Okay. After King Solomon died, Israel was split into two separate nations. The southern tribe and the northern tribe of Israel. Okay. The northern tribe went into the Assyrian captivity. The southern tribe, the Negroes, went into the Babylonian captivity. Okay. And then we both went into the Persian captivity, the Medes and the Persians. The recent captivity, where they had their boy lover homosexuality shit. Okay. 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 And the Romans came after the Greeks because the Romans adopted the Greek philosophy. They, they adopted the oppressive behavior of the Assyrians. They adopted uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the draconian law of the Greeks and the Babylonians. Okay, they took up the, uh, the, the financial services of having the government run the people's money and banking from the Persians. Okay, and then you have the American captivity at the bottom, which we're still in right today. Okay, so through all these captivities, we've been scattered. They took us as slaves as our, we were having children and scattered in the different countries. These are the different countries where we were scattered to, man. West Indies, Haiti, the ones in the country. Panama, Guatemala, Puerto Rico, Cuba, North America. Okay, you know they stole our land. Come on now. Okay. Right, well, who was his daddy? Who was your daddy's daddy? Okay. Okay. Now, they didn't work slaves from Africa. Let me show you this picture right here. I have to show the other young man the other thing.
Okay, you, I mean, I, our people, our people are foolish. No, our people are foolish. They're Saudi's children. People that do not know, they don't, they don't know the Lord. No, no, nobody can't tell me I'm, I'm white, but I know my dad, my mom, people come from. Exactly. Yeah, they're gonna tell you use white man. You, you go back to, uh, you go back to white man, white folks. That's what they, that's what these goddamn devils do, man. It's like the more research I did, the more negative Sorry, I started to become. It's like, I'm literally doing my family tree right now, and I haven't found a white man. I, like, the only white person I found from my mom's side, and that was on her mom's mom's side. And everything else on my dad's side, he's literally Negroes and uh, Native Americans, and, and uh, Mexicans. And then I did the, uh, like, I, I searched out for my dad's dad, dad's people, I did the Montreal and shit. And then, like, the American, like, that's the American, that's the Right? Okay. But I told you, my dad, we all shared a total cocaine thing for a total income. Okay, well, if you if if you go and do all of this DNA test, why don't you just study to show the self-approved of the Bible, get you a Bible dictionary, right? And keep things in context and read it for yourself. That's what I did. Yeah, that's all I was able to at least find out. That's what that Roland dude, where the fuck he is, Dalton, whatever. He did the same thing, man. He's coming up with the same conclusions that we've been telling people out in these street corners for years. He's just now figuring that shit out, though. Right, he got 28 million subscribers. I don't give a shit. I got 15 subscribers. Okay. Okay, I'm out here spreading the truth because now World War III finna jump the fuck off. They ain't telling you about that. Ronald Dodd didn't say anything about that, no. Okay. Oh, guys, chapter one and seven. All the men of black confederacy have laid a crown. Right. Okay. Listen. I'm going to take you to Matthew chapter twenty-four. Get it? That's the reason why 
why they do everything against the, the will and statutes of the commandments of the Most High God. They have no fear of God before their eyes. They don't give a shit about God. They think they are God or else they never would have went so far as to put their face in place of the Son of God. See? Yeah, that's the reason why I'm out here crushing these bastards. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto the most high God. Right? So white man is ungodly. And their ungodliness is hateful to God. You know, because God wants you to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, and he'll bless you. Those motherfuckers want you to keep their commandments where God will put a curse on you and put them over you to continue to mistreat you. Then you wonder why you're at the bottom. Okay? Verse 10. But that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Right? So they make images of this false idea of this white man, okay, on a cross. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. Right? For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. So the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, is going to destroy these devils from out the face of the earth for what they've done and trying to do everything they could to convince our people that they are God on earth and that we should worship them. That's the reason why two thirds of our women worship these goddamn devils. What do these devils chase after? Money, power, riches, a big house, a new car, right? Okay, so they expect our men that have been kept down and their foot is on the neck of our men to do the same thing as the white men. That's the reason why they choose to have a white man over them than us because they put us at the bottom. It all started with the Garden of Eden. When the woman sought to rule over the man and Satan told her that she could do that. That is the apple of the knowledge of the tree of good and of evil. Uh, next Sunday, I'll be out here. Right? Okay. Barakatai, Yahweh, Barakatai, Yahweh, Shah. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. Verse 14. For by the vain glory of men they entered into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end. So the Most High God in heaven, Yahweh, is going to do away with this wicked image of Christianity. You can get ready for that shit. It's happening. Okay? In your lifetime, whether you are here or forbear. Okay? Verse 15, for a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he hath made an image of his child soon taken away. Want me to start over? This is how that bullshit covered over the face of the Son of the Most High. See that? Okay. That's how that happened. Okay. Creation of a false God, right? Wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 15. For a father, Pope Rodolfo Borgia, a.k.a. Pope uh, Al uh, Alexander VI, right? For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he hath made an image of his son, soon taken away, right? Image of his son, soon taken away, okay? Now honored him as a god. That's how the image of the sister Ray Borgia, Jesus Christ, was put and covered up the face of the true image of the Son of the Most High God in heaven. Okay? Which was then a dead man and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. Right? What do they call it? Easter Sunday, Christmas, ceremonies and sacrifices, right? How you sacrifice, you off work. Okay? Thus, in process of time, an ungodly custom, Christianity, grown 
Armstrong Strong was kept as a law. Okay? Evangelical Christianity, what they call, uh, what you call it, bullshit? Uh, uh, Catholicism. Right? Thus, in process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings whom men could not honor in presence because they dwelt afar off. They took the counterfeit of his visage from far and made an express image of a king whom they honored to the end that by this, their forwardness, they might flatter him that was absent as if he were present. In other, other words, they put up a picture of this Edomite devil as the son of God and, and put candles underneath it and worship it, okay? Also, the singular diligence of the artificer, the artist who, who drew the picture, did help to set forward the ignorant to more superstition. For he, per adventure, willing to please one in authority, forced all his skill to make the resemblance of the best fashion. Ta da! They give you another resemblance of the best fashion. Ta da! resemblance of the best fashion okay and so the multitude allured by the grace of the work took him now for a god right which a little before was but honored a man and this was an occasion to deceive the whole world okay remember in the book of revelation where it says that the uh the devil cometh up out of the bottomless pit to deceive the whole world. That's how he done it. Okay? For men serving either calamity or tyranny, to ascribe unto stones and stocks the incommunicable name. What incommunicable name? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christos. Right? Uh, what, what's the uh, other name? Uh, uh, Testus Christus, right? Whatever his name is. That's where they get that shit from, man. These Edomites don't change. Like I tell you in Isaiah 55, verse 19, the Lord God shall afflict them, even he that abideth of old, Selah, because they have no changes, therefore they fear not God. These people don't fear the Most High God. Why would they put the image of their face over the image of the Son of God, who's a Negro from the tribe of Judah? The only way you can be from a, a, a Jew it's like you're from a tribe of Judah. See, they don't teach you that. For men serving either calamity or tyranny to ascribe unto stones and stocks the incommunicable name. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of the Most High. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace. What plague? The plague of war, the plague of pestilence, right? Look what they did to the indigenous population of Indians then. Okay, the trail of tears. They give them a blanket full of uh, uh, smallpox, influenza. Okay, that's a plague of pestilence, plague of war. They've been at war with the indigenous population of people since they got here. America has been in existence for 247 years. Out of that 247 years, 236 of those years have been at war. They've only been at peace for seven fucking years. They've been at war with the indigenous people and they've been at war with everybody else on the planet. They are natural, warlike, animalistic, blood drinking, bloodthirsty people, man. They cannot be calling themselves Christians. They don't fit the narrative. Okay? Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of the Most High God. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace. Right? For whilst they slew their children in sacrifices, or used secret ceremonies, or made revilings of strange rites, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. But either one slew another traitorously or grieved him by adultery. 
right? That's exactly what, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Julius Caesar did. He grieved his men by adultery, by having open sex with their wives where they could watch as Emperor Julius Caesar. That's why they exterminated the faggots. You know, I mean, you come home from a hard day's of work of killing people, you want to make love to your woman and get something to eat, right? That's if you find that the goddamn king of the whole nation banging your old lady. Not just him or her, but your partner, then your brother, then your cousin. This motherfucker's getting around. Why my family? Right? I mean, that's what these devils do, man. They're all about adultery, spiritual and physical fornication. Physical and spiritual adultery. That's the reason why America is called Mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots. And witchcrafts, pharmaceutical drugs. Right? Verse 25, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 25. So that they reign in all men, without exception, blood, manslaughter, theft, corruption, dissimulation, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, adultery, and shameless uncleanness. Okay? No, nobody's partaking that madness, but these Edomite devils, man. They force it on everybody through democracy. Okay? For the worshiping of idols, Sister Ray Borgia, right? Not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. It's evil not to worship the Most High God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's evil to worship a false God that was put up against the truth and the narrative of the Bible and force you by the sword to believe it. Under draconian law, to put you in jail, prison, or to hang you by the gallows, or to decapitate you by the sword. Okay? If you don't follow behind this Edomite devil. Okay? For either they are mad when they be merry, right? Pissed off. Or prophesy lies. Saying that all nations can be saved. That's a lying prophecy. That's blasphemy. The only nation that's going to be saved are Israelites. To whom pertains the adoption, the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the services of the Most High God in heaven, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai. The Israelites that have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, that live their lives as Gentiles, are going to be taken from these Gentile nations. Okay? And they're going to be brought back into the land of Israel and learn the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, where he's going to put up righteous teachers to teach them the way that they should go. Right? That's the reason why it says in Jeremiah chapter 3, Right? Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north. Right? North America. Right? And say, Return thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord. And I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. And I will not keep, for I am merciful, saith the Lord, Salakia. And I will not keep anger forever. Okay, verse 13, only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. Okay, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Verse 14, turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And here's the point. Jeremiah chapter three, verse 15. 
and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay? That's the reason why we're out here, risking our lives and our freedom to spread the truth of the gospel of the Holy Scriptures in the hopes that you would return and keep the law, practice the righteous acts, and stay in order to knowledge and wisdom and understanding of what you're reading in the Bible. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read Isaiah 34 and 16. Right? That's the reason why the Most High God sent pastors out here to teach you what it means to read the Bible. How, you, how often you should read it. The more often you read the Bible, the better you're going to become and closer you're going to get to the Most High God. Where we'll hear your prayers. You ask for money, he will give you an enormous exuberant amount of it. Better than what you had. Okay, and that's all we're trying to do. For either they are mad when they be merry, or prophesy lies, or live unjustly, or else lightly forswear themselves. For insomuch as their trust is in idols which have no life, that's an idol that has no life. The person underneath that picture is the actual image of the individual that they put up to be the Son of God. Right? That's what they did. Right? or live unjustly, or else lightly forswear themselves. For insomuch as, their, as they trust their idols, is an idol, oh, it's like it. Verse 29, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 29. For insomuch as their trust is in idols, which have no life, though they swear falsely, yet they look not to be hurt. Right? Like it says in Ecclesiastes, chapter eight, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Okay? Yep, see? For insomuch as their trust is in idols, which have no life, though they swear falsely, yet they look not to be hurt. Howbeit for both causes shall they be justly unpunished, or uh, justly punished, so like you. Because yeah, Edomites, you're going to get punished our people okay you gonna get punished for that you got it coming okay both because they thought not well of God giving heed, heed unto idols and also unjustly swore in deceit despising holiness how did they despise holiness or being separate or set apart they covered up the face of the true judge, Yahweh Shai, changed his name and put their image up. Now everybody can be saved instead of the people that the Son of God came originally to save, which is the whole house of Israel. Okay? No matter where they've been scattered. But these Christians teach this goddamn bullshit about everybody can be saved, which is a lie. Right? For it is not the power of them by whom they swear, but it is the just vengeance of sinners that punisheth always the offense of the ungodly. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 6. For the vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity. What is iniquity? Sin added unto sin unrepented of. Right? To practice hypocrisy. Who is the biggest hypocrite on earth? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Right? And to utter error against the Lord. God loves everybody. God loves all nations. All nations can be saved. That is uttering error against the Lord. Because he sent his son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to save that which was lost, which is the whole house of Israel because they've been scattered. They've been discontinued from their heritage. As Israelites, the adoption pertains to them. The glory pertains to them who are Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
This is what they're not teaching you at church. Okay? They make you practice kissing their ass. Putting money in the bowl. But they don't teach you the truth. Why? Because it does not bode well for the Edomites. The Edomite devils, the white men, they hate the truth. That's the reason why they push lies. Okay? They are the liars and fathers of it. And to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Right? Who are the thirsty? And it's one of the thirsty individuals, the individuals that came up to talk to me today about the biblical scriptures and what they thought based on emotion as opposed to what they read. They couldn't tell me not one biblical scripture betwixt the both of them that came up today. But they could tell me everything about what they feel. That's how I knew that they were raised in single parent homes where the mother is the man. They didn't have the leadership of a father figure. So when they see a, the leadership of a father figure, here they come. That Jones is going to teach them the way that they should go. They have a conscience. They know they wrong. They know they need their ass whooped for doing wrong. So what they do, they come to get upbraided by us. Pastors that have been given according to the knowledge and will of the Most High God in heaven to teach you the truth to your face. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 7 The instruments also of the children are evil. He devises wicked advices to destroy the poor with lying words even when the needy speaketh right. See? Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17 and then I'm going to close out it's getting hot. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Okay? So that world is the world of the Hebrew Israelites, not the entire planet. Okay? Our world is poor, needy, destitute, desolate of faith. Right? Destitute, in need of funds, broke, Hungry, needy, poor, right? That's the world of the Hebrew Israelites today. These are the very self-same people that the Son of God is coming back to save. He's not coming back to save every goddamn body, okay? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Shut up. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, the God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it, he created it not in vain. So you see the most high God in heaven loves his people. You see what I mean? He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, there is none else. Right? So with that, right? Well, one more. I got one more, it just popped up. <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 52. For yet a little while and iniquity shall be taken away out of the earth and righteousness shall reign among you. Verse 53, let not the sinner say that he hath not sinned, for Yahweh shall burn coals of fire upon his head, which saith before the Lord God, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and his glory, I have not sinned. So two thirds of our people are gonna be left here and melted by the hand of the Most High God and the right hand of the Most High is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Right?
Hold on, let me see. There it is. I think it is. Hold on. Yep, I'm gonna get out of here. Call hello, Yahweh. By Jim, Yahweh John. By Jim, Rakafah John. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. For pushing 100% truth and the well. And preaching salutations to the hopeful elect. So I keep from uh, dropping the telephone, but my, it don't fit on my camera stand. I just bought, and my phone don't work on one screen, so I had to go to another screen. Okay. Thugger Walna ya, Draka Yahawa Bashim Yahushai, Wabataka Al Yaka, cause me to commit Thy way, O Lord, and trust in Thee. Amen. Call Hala Yahawa Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakudash. Ayan Laha Marakab Shaw Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Ayl Ha the Wap Shaw Ha Rikwayai La Yakal Laha Kwataza Wabatak Ayl Yaka La Hataza Yal Naya Makal Mal Shaw Rai Bashim Yahweh Shai Hamashiach Amen. I pray to the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the midst of the sky to endure to the end and trust in thee to deliver me from all works of evil in the name of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Amen. Shalom.